Hi, my name is Jonathan Stern, and today we're going to talk about NVMe over fabrics and the Storage Performance Development Kit, SPDK. So we talk to a lot of customers, and one of the things that we hear all the time is this industry trend toward disaggregation. And one of the things that really drives that is the advent of solid state media in the data center, and specifically NVMe. NVMe is great because it allows you to directly attach your storage to the PCI bus. That means it's as close as it gets to the CPU. It makes efficiency much higher, but it has a problem, and that is you have to have it directly connected. So how do we connect the capabilities and performance from the NVMe drive to the larger data center? To solve that problem, enter NVMe over fabrics. In this case, a fabric could be any kind of network. Anything that has low latency access to media is something that NVMe over fabrics can really use. You're taking that direct connection of that NVMe device to your system and you're replacing that with a network connection that preserves that same high speed access to your media across a network. In our last episode, we talked about the Storage Performance Development Kit, which is extremely efficient, highly scalable open source software for storage applications. SPDK implements this NVMe over Fabrics protocol in a really efficient high speed way. With an NVMe over fabric system, you have a target that is the system with the drives attached, and you have an initiator who is asking for you to do some work on those drives. SPDK has an implementation of an initiator and a target, both of which run in user space, both of which have all of the fundamental goodness of the rest of SPDK. Now this means they have all the efficiency and low latency properties of that software over the network. SPDK and NVMe over Fabrics gives data center architects the tools that they need for greater efficiency, better flexibility, and increased scalability. In terms of efficiency, when you start talking about how many cores you have to provision on a system to keep up with a given storage workload, NVMe over Fabrics gives a huge advantage. To do 40 gigabits per second worth of network traffic using the Linux kernel takes roughly 10 CPU cores, which is amazing. However, in SPDK, we do the same amount of traffic, 40 gigabits, using a single core. So another big benefit to NVMe over Fabrics is that you have this incredible flexibility as you build your data center. You no longer have to have this one-to-one -one correspondence between systems and their storage. You can have one storage device connected to a dozen different systems, or vice versa. That can be a huge advantage for people who are building data centers because it means that they can tailor the amount of expensive solid state storage to the compute resources that need it. And this is the thing that allows disaggregation of your storage from your compute. Scalability is another great advantage of NVMe for Fabrics because it allows you to take one single system and scale the number of NVMe devices that are attached to it infinitely. NVMe over Fabrics in general, and SPDK specifically, is relevant to applications builders who are building software applications. It's relevant to cloud service providers or enterprises building their own clouds. And they're relevant to appliance builders, people who are building the kinds of appliances that are associated with really big, complicated storage problems. People building a data center today need to pay attention to SPDK and NVMe and NVMe over Fabrics. These three things really working closely together because these are the protocols and technologies that will be the foundation of the data center of tomorrow. If you'd like to learn more about SPDK and NVMe over Fabrics, check us out on the web at spdk.io.